Hello, anyone and everyone, I am Echo, and today we are exploring Final Fantasy VII. Um, we are here up at the very tippity top of the Shinra building, where we've just gone through fighting a bunch of uh, experimental monsters that Shinra created because somebody let them out, and that somebody turns out to most likely have been Sephiroth with his mysterious ulterior motives that we totally don't know at all because this game's brand new nobody's ever beaten it before yippee ki -yay, motherfuckers okay um and right now uh as you can see the president of shinra over there has been stabbed in the back and outside floating on a helicopter is his son the vice president rufus so we're gonna go uh meet him or not he was right outside the window. Uh, I guess we, we gotta go to a different place to meet him. Maybe out here. Yeah, out here. Sweet. And uh, I do believe we should be leaving Midgar soon, which is when the game opens up and uh, frankly becomes a lot better. The, the early portions of this game are super linear. I think uh, all the Final Fantasy games do that to a degree. But uh, Final Fantasy is like 1 through 6, the the linear starting part was a lot uh, shorter, like maybe the first hour at most you were, you know, railroaded along a specific town or you had to go through a specific dungeon or, or whatever. Um, but uh, Final Fantasy 7 onward is when they really started going with the... Let's put in tons of cutscenes and tons of dialogue and tons of characterization and everything like that. And, you know, for the beginning of the game, let's have it be super linear to really kick our story off to a, to a you know, a, a big bang so that the story would be a big deal. I'm not complaining. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Uh, I'm just saying, you know, in terms of the actual gameplay, it does get quite a bit more fun after the initial intro sequence, in my opinion just my opinion. So anyway, this is Rufus talking, the Vice President of Shinra and the son of the previous President of Shinra who is now deceased. So, so Sephiroth was actually here. By the way, just who are you? I'm Cloud, ex-soldier, first class. I'm from Avalanche. Me too. A flower girl from the slums. A research specimen. What a crew. <laughs> yeah, it really is. It's like, okay, ex-soldier, deadly research specimen monster thing, terrorists, and chick who sells flowers on the street corner. Yeah! She's the healer of the group. Better watch out. She might cure you if you're undead and do extra damage. Be careful. What a crew. Well, I'm Rufus, the president of Shinra, Inc. You're only president because your old man died. Correct. I'll let you hear my inauguration speech. Father tried to control the world with money, and that worked for him. The people believe that Shinra will protect that Shinra would protect them. Work at Shinra, get your pay. If terrorists attack, the Shinra army will help you. It looked perfect on the outside. But I do things differently. I'll control the world with fear. It's too much to do it like my old man. A little fear will control the minds of the common people. There's no reason to waste good money on them. He likes to make speeches just like his father. Get Eris out of the building! What? I'll explain later. Barrett, this is the real crisis for the planet. The hell is that supposed to mean? I'll explain later. Just take my word for now. I'll go after I take care of him. Alright, Cloud. <clears throat> you gonna, gonna, gonna fight him all, all, all by yourself there, huh? I mean, there's no reason to believe that the president of Shinra would have any kind of 
combat prowess. He's just a dude in a suit. But still, that's how the game works. We're supposed to have a party. Three, man. Three. You don't break the rules. Cloud, I just thought of something. I'll wait for Cloud. Everyone, get to the elevator. Okay, sure. Just... Hmm, it's going to get pretty ugly from here on. We should check on our equipment. Cloud and Tifa's equipment. Remove, leave it. Um, oh, Materia. Remove, let me see. Wait, what, what, what? What is this? Okay. Did I just... Wait a minute. So what did the... Removed it. Oh shit. Oh shit. I just removed all of everybody's materia and unequipped it. What the hell? Alright, who has the most MP? That would be Eris. You get cure or restore and the all thingy. So you can restore everyone. And you can have fire. And you can have. Ice. And Barrett, you can have Lightning and Elemental. Um, actually, if we fight any enemies, they're probably going to be those experiments. Um, I don't know what those experiments are weak to, but I probably would guess Fire, if anything. So instead, we'll give you Fire and Elemental. And Eris can have lightning and ice for her magic. And red 13, you can have uh, poison. You know what? Oh, you know what? You can have cover. And uh, that would not affect cover. You can have cover and sense, I guess. And poison for the hell of it. So, yeah, there you go. Um, I did look up what the elemental, uh, element materia actually does, so apparently I was not wrong. When you pair it with magic, and you put it on a gun, or a, a weapon, I mean, it does give that weapon, um, that elemental property, but it does not actually increase the damage or make any kind of visual effect at all. Um, the only thing is that for example, since I've put fire on here, um, if I attack an enemy who is weak to fire, then it will do extra damage because his attacks count as dealing fire-type damage. So that's all it does. It doesn't make any visual difference, so you can't actually really see if it's working unless you're fighting an enemy who's weak to fire, uh, or whatever magic you put in. And, uh... It doesn't, uh, it doesn't just increase the base damage by putting fire on top of your base damage. It simply changes your damage type to fire. Um, and I don't believe there's any situation where that would be a bad thing. I don't think there are any enemies in the game who take extra damage from non-elemental regular attacks and would take less damage if you have an element on your weapon like this. So I don't think that would be a problem. So, yeah. Okay, so can't get past Tifa to go save, so that's freaking great. And for some reason now we're controlling Eris and the other two. We can't go down there? Can't. Wait, why are we even controlling them? What's going on? Why can't I get through the door? Do I have to talk to Tifa again to continue the sequence? Damn it! Random battle? No! Please don't do this. Alright. Alright. Attack. You attack. You attack. Now let's hope that these things are weak to fire. Like I guessed. Don't you suicide! You bastard. 108 freaking damage, are you kidding me? And it does not seem to have done any extra damage. Great. You know what? Use a potion on yourself, buddy. Nope. 
don't, because the battle's over. Good job, Barrett. You were too slow. Alright. <clears throat> Let's go back to the menu. Let's uh, use a potion real quick. Just to get him back up there, just in case something happens. Now let's talk to Tifa, because maybe that's what we have to do. I'll wait for Cloud. Everyone, get to the elevator. Okay. So where's the freaking elevator? Oh, down here. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alrighty. Awesome. I did not see that door. I was trying to go down the stairs. What? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Barrett, you're gonna do great at this. This is a long-range fight where everybody gets to suck super hard, except for Barrett, because he's the one with the long-range attacks. And you get to use lightning, because that's a robot. And according to Final Fantasy logic, robots always take extra damage from lightning. And I think in this case, Red 13 won't even be able to hit him, because I'm pretty sure he'll, uh... Yeah, it says he can't reach, because he's melee only, and uh, Eris would have the same problem. So, uh... You know what? You, uh, of course, keep attacking, and yep, you do that. Bio. Would Bio even affect this? Because that's, that's poison. That's the poison I gave him. Um, but I don't know if the robot... Yeah, the robot's probably really resistant to poison, if it can even be hit. It might be completely immune, I don't know. So that's probably going to be useless. So Red 13, you're not doing much in this fight, are you, buddy? No, you're not. Alright, um, sense? Sure, that might help. And you just do bolt again. You've got your, uh, limit up so you can... Weak against lightning, yep. Okay, cool. So that's what it said. Oh, I should have put lightning... If I had remembered, I should have put lightning on, uh, Barrett's gun. Like I originally was going to. Um, you know what? You can use a potion on yourself. And I think, uh, probably next turn, Eris will want to use her... her limit break. Actually, no! Everybody's still got pretty good health. Um... Just have Red 13 keep using potions a little bit. Wait, what did it just say? I just fucking missed what that said. Everybody should probably be guarding. It's probably doing some big super attack. Um, you know what, yeah, defend. Sensor cannon charge. Okay, defend. Alright. Defend. Defend. You gonna you gonna do shit there, robot? Wave artillery. Oh shit. Oh wow. Hey, that didn't do much damage at all. Alright, fine. I'm gonna bolt your ass then. Bolt it to the ground. Alright, uh, you just... You know what? No reason to... You know what? Yeah, yeah, you, you use a potion on yourself. No, why'd you just attack? Did I just accidentally make him attack? And I just did... I got bear and his things messed up. Alright, you... Just defend. You attack. Alright. There you go, he's dead. Eris never even had a chance to use her thing because we kept using potions because, uh... We're slightly overleveled, but that's how it should be. Oh no, it's another one! Alright, you defend, you defend. Wait, no, why did I just make her defend? She should be hitting it with lightning again. Oh well. Oh well. AB can. Why do you get to attack twice, you bastard? Barret limit break. Oh yeah. Big shot. All over it, baby. Um, heal up Barrett a little bit. You bolt it. Okay, and it's attacking everybody, you know what? Yeah. yeah Eris can do the thing, probably. Maybe. Uh, jeez. Uh, his limit probably won't work, so. Alright, you know what? One more turn, let it attack everybody, because her thing, her thing will just heal everybody up to 100% easily. So there's no reason to use it when they're still at, uh, you know, pretty decent health. They're, they're above half, so there's really no reason to use it right now. 
firing line. Okay, and everybody gets hit. Alright, yeah, next time I'll do it. Next turn, I swear. You just defend. Uh-oh, what are you doing? What are you doing, you freaking thing? Why are you spinning? Flying drill! Oh, It drilled him. Ow. Just keep defending, Red 13. You can't do much here. Also, if I'm not mistaken, I think Eris' Limit Break takes the longest to uh, charge up. Could be wrong. I don't know. It's dead. Doesn't matter. There's no third one, is there? No. Good. Screw you and your robots. Mind blow gained. Cool. Access menu with menu. Remove materia from members with switch. End with start. Okay. It's kind of a... Actually, he just got a mithril thingy, so... Yep. Better defense all around. And accessory, talisman, spirit, plus ten. Don't know what that does. I think that's just uh, extra magic points or something? I'm not sure. Anyway, okay. Materia. Let's, uh... Um... It said to use switch to... Well, alright. If I give him these two, that's all he really needs. Um... I'll give him steel, just because I think it's funny to try and steal from the president of Shinra. So, let's go. Yep, good enough. End with start. Okay, there you go. Why do you want to fight me? Because <clears throat> you're a bastard? Is that a good enough reason? You want the promised land in Sephiroth. That's right. <clears throat> Did you know that Sephiroth is an ancient? Whatever. Can't let either you or Sephiroth have the promised land. I see. I guess we won't be allies. <laughs> that was a fast conversation. Oh shit, he's got a big dogger behind him. Barrier? What is this bullcrap? Shotgun, what's that? Oh shit, I don't know what the barrier just did, man. But let's steal from him. So I think Barrier uh, makes him resistant to magic, doesn't it? Nothing to steal. Alright, fine. Um, you know what? In that case, if it's only resistant to magic, let's use our thing on him. Because this should do regular damage despite the barrier. Yep, seems to have. Alright. It's pretty good damage you guys got there. But I still need to steal from you. Nothing to steal. Okay, fine. I guess my goofiness has gone punished. <laughs> yeah, you you laugh all you want. Really cool looking guy with a trench coat and shotgun. M barrier. Maybe M barrier is the one that blocks magic. Yeah, I think so. Regular barrier blocks uh, physical. Not blocks it. Makes him resistant, though. Okay, better cure up right now. Quickly. But damn, that does cure a lot of health. That's basically... Oh, sweet. Get a thing, too. I don't know if I should be hitting the dog or not. I'm pretty sure the battle will just end if I do enough damage to... Rufus. Like, seriously, though? I forgot how cool Rufus looks. Long, white trench coat. Sawed-off shotgun. Just badass attitude in general. Pretty nice. Heh, <laughs> that's all for today. Okay, yep, and he just runs away. Uh, I might still need to kill the dog, though. Since the HUD is standing up. Nope, cool, done. Awesome. Protect vest. Coolio. Alright. And, uh, let's... I just did it again. 
Messing up my buttons. My buttons! Okay, how much does this heal? 500? Okay, that'd be a waste then. One, two, three. Sure. Okay. Alright, anything over here that we want to steal? Any items hidden up for us? No. Damn. Alright. What about in the bottom left corner? Nope, nothing. Alright then. Back to Tifa it is. I like that the music is still playing. Like, this is just the battle music, but it's like, eh, you, you know, it's an exciting moment. You're gonna have some battle music to go with that exciting moment for you. There you go. Save it up, just in case something happens, I don't know what. Alright, hey, where's Rufus? I couldn't finish him. This is gonna get complicated. That's one way to put it, I guess. Oh, of course we have to control the rest of them. I'll go on ahead. <laughs> or not. Shit, we're surrounded. If I was alone, this wouldn't be a thing, but I got a reputation to protect. Sure, yeah, mm-hmm. You all get out while you can. It's not you they're after, it's me. Yeah, well that ain't happening. You got caught up in this over Marlene. Now it's my turn to help you. Okay, playtime's over, jackasses. Why don't they... Why don't they, uh... Bleep out jackasses with the, you know, random assortment of... At symbols and exclamation marks and everything. Like they do every other time, Barrett uh, swears. Thank you, Mr. Barrett. I don't know, it's just confusing. Who you calling Mr. Barrett? That don't sound right. Well then... If you are through talking, may I suggest that we think of a way to get out of here? Huh? Oh, oh yeah. You're cold, man. Just like someone else around here, I know. Did you say something? Not a thing. So what are we gonna do? Barrett! Stop being an idiot, and let's go. Tifa, where's Cloud? Nah, I didn't guess what Tifa's gonna say, right? Everyone, over here! Huh? What's up? Where's Cloud? He's coming! Hurry, hurry! Don't believe her, it's an illusion! That's not the real Tifa! She's leading you to a trap. Oh shit. Where'd you get that? Literally, where'd you get it? I don't know. But okay. Oh, I didn't think we were doing this part at this point in the game. I forgot it was coming. Completely forgot. Pretty sure. Pretty sure I know what's coming. Yep. Control the bike with the directional buttons, and save your friends in the truck from the Shinra Pursuit Troops. Switch, attack on left, okay, attack on right. Menu, uh, menu, cancel, form party, start, start game. Okay, uh, cancel, why would I want to form party? I don't know. Let's, uh, go for these two for now, I guess. Alright. Control the bike with the directional button, save front, yeah, switch, attack on the left, okay, attack on right. So I guess switch means, uh, X button, and, uh, okay would obviously be the A button. Nope. What's switch, then? Oh, it's the left bumper? That's weird. Damn it! No, no, no! You guys, get out! Back off! There you go. Okay. No, don't, don't you dare. I <laughs> just noticed their freaking goofy faces up in the corners. So, uh... This is Final Fantasy VII Advent Children. The game. 
and uh, basically uh, you watching this admittedly really cool fun mini game at home uh, you get you get the gist of that movie nothing else really to it why did it ask me to form a party though it's so weird I don't know Back off, you fuckers. Oh, this is really hard to control, actually. Like, it's hard to keep the vertical space and uh, everything. There you go. Fuck off. Yeah, two in a row. There you go. Ha ha ha! The blue one hit the red one. Because they're dumbasses who don't know how to drive their motorcycles. Fuck! Get off! You jacks? Jackasses? Why did I just say jacks? That's not what I was trying to say. Oh shit! It's a big one! I don't think I can do this. Oh no, and it's a dead end. Who didn't finish this road? This is why they uh, want me to form a party. Is Cloud? Aw, oh, Cloud should have been on his motorcycle. Damn it! Ah, oh, you cheap shotting piece of crap. Wait, no, they turned around in the cutscene at the end of that mini game. They turned around to face the robots. They should not have had their backs turned at all. All right, everybody, just attack it, I guess. Oh crap! You guys are in the wrong uh, positions for your. Uh... Yeah, he's gonna do less damage, and she's gonna do a little bit more damage, but also take more damage. You need to switch then. Change. There you go. Change, and you change. There you go. Need to correct them rows. Okay, attack! Attack! And attack! Okay, any, anybody, anytime now. Twin burner. Ooh, oh no, don't do that. That's not nice there, buddy. Yeah, crit. Alright. Uh, I think Cloud can heal them next turn. Or maybe I should wait a turn, I don't know. Nah, let's... Mm. One more. Alright, there you go, one more. He'll probably do another attack. Another AoE, just like I expected. Now Cloud can do his thing. Heal up everybody all at once. All right. And just keep wailing on it, I guess. Hmm. Maybe I should have uh, Eris defend. It's about to do. Nah, too late. Oh well. Oh, that's a bigger one, isn't it? Oh, shit, that's a lot. Wow. Oh, hey, doesn't matter. Healing win, motherfucker. You got owned. You attacked just in time for my limit break. Ho, ho, ho. Arm attack. That doesn't sound nearly as impressive. Sure. This finish him off. Uh, bet you twenty dollars. Shit, I was wrong. Okay, I just lost twenty dollars. I'll have to pay it. Pay it to myself. Oh darn! What an embarrassment. All right, this will finish him off. Bet you fifty dollars. <laughs> oh, he's gonna do another attack because he's a big dumb. Yeah, yeah, you twin burn all you want. We're not scared of the likes of you. Get stomped on. Oh, Jesus, are you kidding me? Eris finished him off. Eris, of all people. Eris finished him off. Okay, sure, yeah, I'll buy that. Bullcrap, that's what that is. Eris finished him off, are you kidding me? It doesn't... 
Hmm. That's probably going to be... All seriousness, though. That's probably going to be the only time in this entire playthrough where Eris finishes off a boss. A boss. Unless she already did it, I don't know. Well, what do we do now? Sephiroth is alive. I have to sell the score. It's a pretty nice view. Except for all the, uh... Unfinished bridge. Will that save the planet? It seems so. Then I'm going. I'll go too. There are things I need to know. About the ancients. Many things. I guess it's goodbye, Midgar. Yep, I was right. We're leaving Midgar right now. Holy shit. I didn't think... I thought we still had to go through, uh... Thought we were still had to, like, walk down and find our way out. I guess we're just climbing out. Down a conveniently placed rope off of the bridge that nobody finished. Because they're all freaking idiots. Okay, but anyway... I'm going to end it here because this is a perfect time to stop and I'm out of time. So, yeah. I hope you all have enjoyed this episode. And I hope you all continue to enjoy it and all that and everything like stuff. Yeah. I'm bad at ending episodes. Have you? Can you tell? I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Oh,